I'm Lauren Volkbaum, and this is Brain Stuff. Pop quiz. I'm thinking of a substance. Let's see if you can guess what it is. In its pure form, it's odorless, tasteless, and nearly colorless. It's in your food. Uh, in fact, a lot of the stuff you use every day either contains it or was manufactured using it. It's even in your body. Can you guess what it is? If you guessed water, then you're correct. Water is one of the most important substances on Earth, as far as life goes, at least, and it can do some weird stuff. For example, it reaches a maximum density at around four degrees Celsius and then becomes less dense before it freezes. And here's another weird thing. Hot water can freeze faster than cold water, but why? Okay, this is a very old question. Rene Descartes thought about it and Francis Bacon before him. Aristotle pondered the mystery too. Today, we call the phenomenon the Mpumba effect after a guy named Erasto Mpumba, who first observed the effect on ice cream when he was just 13 years old. His teacher, for the record, laughed at him. But who's laughing now? It turns out Erasto was onto something big, and teams of experts would spend the next few decades trying to explain why water behaves this way. Scientists around the world cooked up dozens of theories, and none of them were able to completely explain the process. But as of 2013, that may have changed. A research assistant at the University of Zagreb in Croatia claims that convection currents in warm water cause it to cool more rapidly. And the Royal Society of Chemistry agrees with him. They actually gave the guy a thousand pound prize for his experiments. But he's not the only contender for a solution. A team of physicists at the Nanyang Technological University in Singapore took the question to a much smaller level. They claim the answer lies in the bonding, uh, not, you know, hanging out with friends, playing increasingly inappropriate games of Cards Against Humanity kind of bonding, uh, but molecular bonding. You see, every water molecule is made of two hydrogen atoms bonded to a single atom of oxygen. These are covalent bonds, which means that they share electrons between one another. It's a chemical bond. Separate water molecules, however, are bound to their neighbors by weaker hydrogen bonds, which occur when a hydrogen atom from one water molecule is close to the oxygen atom of another water molecule. This is an electromagnetic attraction, and it's what gives water some of its really weird properties, like the unusually high boiling point of 100 degrees Celsius, aka 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So, these scientists in Singapore argue that the Mpumba effect comes from an interaction between the covalent bonds, those inner water molecule bonds, and the hydrogen bonds between different molecules. Here's how they think it works. When water molecules are close together, their natural repulsion causes the covalent bonds to stretch and store energy. As the water warms up, it becomes less dense. The hydrogen bonds stretch as the molecules move further apart. Uh, when these hydrogen bonds stretch, they allow the covalent bonds to shrink and release their energy. This is equivalent to cooling. So, according to the Nanyang theory, hot water is essentially able to release energy faster, leading to a quicker freeze. Now, it's important to note at this point that the work hasn't been peer-reviewed, so this is not a sure thing yet. But even if it's just a contributing factor, that's a really promising lead to a question that has puzzled humanity for some, you know, 2,500 years. So that should just about wrap up this question. If you have enjoyed this video, then please like or subscribe so that you can catch the next one from me and or one of my co-hosts. And hey, we have a brand new website. It is at brainstuffshow.com. Go check it out. And we'll talk to you again really soon.